Hey YouTubies, it's Deanna from Windy City Vape Reviews and today we'll be taking an up-close and personal look at the Council of Vapors Royal Hunter RDA. Here's a quick little peek at it. Pretty simple on the outside. We're going to dive down and take an up-close and personal look then we'll come back up top and I will give you my pros and cons as well as some more specs on it. All right, we're going to take a up close personal look at the Royal Hunter by the Council of Vapor. Comes in this nice plastic box. Their logo on there. Council of Vapor. It's called Mystic Blue. Now, I did get this on esig.com and they actually call it Tiffany Blue, but on the box it is called Mystic Blue. All right. Get a look at it, open it up. It has like this little box inside. Move this. And you just open it up like that. And pull out the top portion. And it has a little guide, wide bore, high flow drip tip. Kind of tells you a little bit of information about it. Not a really in-depth one. But, again, some nice photos. Quick start guide. And it does have the QR code to scan to verify. Make sure you have an authentic item. And then they also have just a little QR code with their Facebook on there. And then the next layer down is just your normal packet with the hex screw, or I'm sorry, the hex tool. <laughs> Had some extra grub screws in there and a bunch of O-rings actually. And this is an authentic Royal Hunter. It's not a clone. Take him out. And there it is. It's got the slots on the side for the adjustable airflow. This color actually is almost more like a greenish blue, um, but I really like it. It's not like all of my other blues that I have. It's a little bit different than most of the other ones. And then they also give you a 510 adapter, which is kind of a pain to get out of here. So you can use a regular 510 drip tip. I noticed the drip tip is a little hard to get off, but that might change when I get some juice on there. So then I'm not going to stick this in all the way just because I don't want it to get stuck in there, but you get the idea. You would put that in and then stick your 510 on there. And I've tried a couple different ones and it does they do fit on there. So this is the inside of the drip tip. It has like the little honeycomb which is supposed to help prevent spit back. And then it's just got these little designs on the side. It is a plastic. Pop it back on. There's the RH for the Royal Hunter. Other than that, you know, it's not super overly done up with any kind of branding or anything. There's your adjustable airflow. And it does adjust on both sides, all the way closed to all the way open. And you just pull that off. And there is inside the deck. I do have a build on here. These are pre-made um, tiger wire coils from Wotofo that I got from Vapor Beast. And I will be doing a review on those. I did get three different types of coils, so I'll be doing a review just on the different pre-bought coils um, because I wanted to try different things other than just basic build, but I really don't have the skills yet to do anything but basic builds, so it's a good way to try out new coils without having to go through all the hard work of making them. 
closed up on that. It has pretty nice large holes for the wires. It has the center positive and the negative posts on the sides. It does have the hex screw grub screws. It's a pretty decent size deck, so you know I could I was able to get this build in here not no problem. But it's not a very deep juice well. Uh, so we'll see how that goes because I am an over dripper and I kind of prefer the deeper juice wells just because I don't have as many problems with leaking. It does have the double O-rings on the deck and then this is the um, little logo on the bottom. And I don't think it's a pr issue with the etching. I, I really do think that this is supposed to be supposed to be made to make it look a little bit rough. Um, so it's not an issue with how they etched it. There's your 510 connection. It does not protrude very much, so I would not recommend using this on a hybrid. Let me see if I can get it. Show it more, not really. Um, wouldn't use this on a hybrid, personally. I'm not sure if it's a an adjustable 510. Um, it's not, it doesn't appear to be plated with anything either. So, that is the up close and personal on the Royal Hunter. I think it's kind of nice looking. It's not super, uh, you know, like a really, really tall one. It does kind of have like a short stature. Um, the drip tip is nice and short. And it is a large bore. So it seems like this is going to be a pretty good for chucking the clouds. But let's see how it does on flavor. Because I am actually more of a flavor chaser than a cloud chaser. And some of my RDAs, you know, you can they offer actually both. They have great flavor and great cloud. So let's see how this one does. We'll take it up top and I will get it wicked and take it for a vape. So that was the up close and personal look and now I will give you some more specs on it. I purchased this one at eSig.com and I paid $19.02 for this. It is an authentic, it's not a clone. And they come in five different colors. They have black, white, silver, mystic blue, and green. I have the mystic blue, which is more of a greenish blue than just a regular like Tiffany style blue, but I kind of like that about this one. And they, they, I'm just going to read all the specs off to you. Um, it has a silver plated 510 pin and positive post. It has adjustable airflow for single or dual coils. So you can turn the airflow off so that you only have the one open for a single coil. I do have a dual coil in here right now. I have the um, Tiger Wire pre-made coil by Wotopo in here that ohm out at a plate about a 0.23 I believe it was um, has a 510 drip tip adapter I am using the uh, wide bore drip tip that it came with but it does have the 510 adapter and I tried a couple different drip tips on there and they do all work with it just fine and the wide bore drip tip has the honeycomb netting on there I know I showed you in the up close and personal look, but you can see it right there, which prevents spit back. And I do have to say, I don't get a whole lot of spit back with this, and I absolutely love that. I'm not one to normally drip through my tips anyway. I like to take them off and kind of paint my coils with my juice. So for me, not a con, but maybe for those of you that like to drip through the tip. And then it, ha it comes with the spare... Uh, Phillips scrub screws, O-rings, and the mini screwdriver. Um, it's a 22 millimeter in diameter and weighs 23 grams and is able to uh, handle 20 gauge wire plus. So those are the specs. I have to say when I did the up close and personal and I usually will do an unboxing and record that 
before I do the rest of the review, so that was pre-recorded. I was a little worried because the uh, juice well didn't seem as deep as some of the other RDAs that I have, but I have not had an issue with over dripping too much on this one, so that is a good thing for me. Um, the only one I seem to have the biggest problems with over dripping on is my little plume veil, which I absolutely love, but for whatever reason, I am just a leaky mess with that one. So, my pros for this one, I absolutely love the way this looks, especially with my infected mod zombie mod cologne and the colors match pretty well if you see blue on my fingers I am absolutely sorry I am a cake decorator by day and um, I use an airbrush and some of the colors do not like to come off <laughs> and I wear gloves so I'm not sure how this happens but I seem to always end up being a mess when I do blue or red cakes for some reason anyway back to this so, my cons. I I do like the small, uh, short drip tip. I didn't think that I was going to like it um, because I thought, you know, your lips would be a little too close to the top cap and it would get too hot, but I have not had that problem at all, even with the lower build on there. It performs well. It is easy to build on, so no issues whatsoever with that. Uh, great cloud production. And flavor is is good I wouldn't say it's great it's not the best flavor RDA for me anyway I, I know there are probably a lot of people out there that are going to disagree with me but I honestly think I get better flavor on my tobacco mini velocity clone RDA and my 13 heavens nine hells is by far my favorite for club production and flavor I seem to get the best of both on that RDA so as of right now, that's still my favorite, but for $19, um, I would definitely purchase this again if I were to lose this, so, or if for some reason damage it, because you know, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that <laughs> I have a case of the dropsies. I drop everything. I, I, I don't know what it is, but I would definitely go out and purchase this again for that price. Now I know most websites have the anywhere from like $35 to $50, so for $19, was a great deal. Shipping was extremely fast. It's my second order from eSig.com and again I have not had any issues. Now there was one item that I ordered at the same time as this. Um, it was coils for my crown tank and the sale went through and the next day I received an email from them stating that there was a mistake made. They didn't have them in stock and if they asked what I would like to do if I just wanted a refund or credit for something else and I went ahead and chose the refund and they refunded it back into my account by the next morning and transaction went smoothly so I really appreciated the great customer service that got back to me as soon as they were in in the morning and asked even sent me an email after the fact to ask what I thought of their customer service and was I satisfied and you know that's really great where companies nowadays um, to give you that kind of personalization when there are things that arise like that. So again, would definitely purchase from them again and I would definitely purchase this RDA again because I really do like it. And again, I think it looks fantastic with my infected clone mod. So that is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I hope you have a great day and keep calm and vape on.